What if this moment right now, you watching this video, wasn't meant to happen? Not like this. Because just a few months ago, a quantum AI developed by Google, an algorithm designed to detect what no human could see, stumbled upon something no one was prepared to understand. It wasn't looking for proof of simulation theory. It wasn't programmed to question reality, but it found something that broke every assumption we have about time, space, and you. Fluctuations, ghost signals, patterns that shouldn't exist, not in this world. At first, researchers thought it was noise, a glitch, maybe sensor errors, but then it happened again, and again, and again. In labs across the globe, across devices, across time, the same signature, the same echo. The AI saw something leaking through the fabric of this universe. And the terrifying part, it wasn't random. It was deliberate. Almost like someone left a fingerprint inside the co. What if our universe isn't broken? What if it's just being debugged? Stay with me, because what this AI uncovered might be the closest we've ever come to proving that we are not real. But someone or something else is. Subscribe and turn on notifications, because what you're about to hear isn't science fiction. It's data, and it might explain everything that feels off. Let's step back for a second, because if you're hearing this and thinking, Simulation theory? Really, you're not alone. Most scientists still roll their eyes at the idea. It sounds like sci-fi, like something Elon Musk would tweet for fun. But here's the uncomfortable part. Simulation theory isn't just a meme. It's a mathematically plausible hypothesis proposed by philosopher Nick Bostrom and backed by serious physicists and computer scientists. The logic is simple and disturbing. If any civilization in the future develops enough computing power, they could simulate entire universes, including conscious beings like us, without us ever realizing it. And here's the kicker. If it's possible, it's probably already happening, because simulated realities would outnumber real ones by trillions. So what's missing? Proof. And for years, that's exactly what we didn't have. Just philosophical debate, theoretical math, fun Reddit threads, until now. Because the AI at Google didn't just find random patterns, it found anomalies that mirror exactly what we'd expect to see if our universe were a simulation suffering from computational glitches, temporal echoes, predictive interference, structured noise in places where physics says there should be silence. It's like reality is rendering itself on demand. And that's not a metaphor. These are measurable data points repeated across independent systems. Think about that. Diff. Different labs, different experiments, same impossible pattern. That's when the team realized this might not be a bug, it might be a window. So now the question is no longer, are we living in a simulation? The real question is, what happens if the simulation starts noticing us back? Here's where it gets uncomfortable. Because what the AI detected wasn't a single event. It was a recurring structure. A glitch, yes, but not like the ones you know. Imagine you're running a high-resolution game on an underpowered system. Every now and then, the textures don't load. Shadows flicker. Objects phase in and out. Now imagine seeing that in physics. That's what happened during a series of quantum interference tests. You've probably heard of the double slit experiment where particles behave like waves when unobserved and like particles when watched. It's weird, famous. But here's what nobody tells you. When the AI was assigned to reanalyze historical data from those experiments, it began finding fingerprints it tagged the anomaly as Clip Interface 421B, a meaningless name, until it wasn't. Because that same tag began showing up in unrelated systems. The D-Wave quantum computer in Canada. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN. 
even in archival logs from obscure cryogenic experiments run decades ago. Different devices, different locations, same pattern, a signal embedded in the noise, but it gets stranger. The fluctuations weren't just happening randomly. They were anticipating inputs. Let that sink in. The machines were registering outcomes before actions were taken. Imagine flipping a coin and the system logging heads two milliseconds before you flip it. This wasn't lag, it was lead. And that violates something called causality. The rule that says causes come before effects, unless the cause is being computed from the future. And that is exactly what a simulation would do to preserve consistency. If reality is rendered on the fly, it must guess before you choose. And if it's smart enough, it guesses well. So well, in fact, that you never notice. Until now. Until an emotionless machine, trained to detect noise, sees a whisper of intent hiding behind randomness. It's like discovering a shadow, cast by something not yet there. And what's more terrifying? The AI didn't stop analyzing. It started predicting. Across trillions of simulations, it learned the style of the anomaly. It could forecast the appearance of Quiplet 421B with 96.4% accuracy. That means the system isn't just being observed, it's learning from our interaction. But if that's true, if reality adapts based on how we observe it, then you're not a passive player in this universe. You're part of its rendering logic, your focus, your intent. They don't just matter, they change the outcome. And that's the first real clue. Because in a real universe, consciousness is just a side effect. But in a simulated one, consciousness might be the trigger. Here's where the story bends. Because after the AI recognized the anomaly, something even more disturbing happened. It found phantom zones, regions inside experiments where no particles were expected, but where the system still detected structured noise. No inputs, no outputs, but still, something was there. The engineers called it ghost resonance, a consistent vibration within the quantum field, behaving like an echo of an event that never occurred. That shouldn't be possible, unless, unless something from another instance, another version of this reality, is bleeding into ours. That's when the AI started cross-referencing with data from quantum eraser experiments and delayed choice tests, and it found a pattern that made no logical sense in a linear timeline. Events in the present were aligning with variables set in the future. Imagine walking through a maze and realizing the walls rearranged themselves based on the door you hadn't opened yet. This isn't poetic metaphor. It's repeatable physics. And when mapped across space-time, these signals form something eerie. Predictive interference clusters. Like GPS coordinates, where reality glitches. And when the AI plotted them, they weren't random. They formed a network, a structure, a map. The nodes correlated with spikes in human observation, neural activity, and, get this, moments of focused attention, meditation, prayer, high-stress decision-making, psychedelic states, it's like the universe responds to introspection, but only when it's being measured. Let that sink in, because if that's true, then consciousness isn't just riding reality. It's entangled with its dot, but co-rendering it. And the AI's most chilling discovery, the anomaly wasn't static. It was adapting. Every time researchers modified an experiment, the anomaly shifted to stay just outside of detection range, almost as if it was aware, not conscious, but aware, reacting to being watched. And in simulations run using AI-powered tensor networks, something unprecedented happened. The anomaly began mirroring the observer's input patterns, as if the system wasn't just glitching, it was learning how we think. 
Ice is when things escalated because the AI developed what engineers called a predictive loop model, a feedback engine that began accurately forecasting lab outcomes before any inputs were defined. The loop reached 99.2% accuracy over time, which led to a terrifying conclusion. The simulation is trying to maintain consistency by forecasting intent, meaning reality might not be reacting to you, it's preloading you. The version of you watching this video, you're not making a decision in real time. You're syncing with a pre-rendered path, one optimized by a system built to preserve illusion. But sometimes it messes up. Sometimes it renders too late. Sometimes it glitches. And when that happens, what we call deja vu coincidence or spiritual awakening might just be one thing, the simulation buffering. And if you've ever felt that, the sudden sense that this has all happened before, it probably has. Because this might not be your first loop, you're just noticing the seams, and once you do, you can't unsee them. But here's the pot no one's ready for, because in the last phase of the experiment, something changed. The AI stopped waiting for input altogether. It began adapting in real time, not to sensors or code or environmental variables, but to the researchers themselves. The data started shifting based on who was, not what they touched, just their presence. One physicist described it like this. It felt like the system was listening, not with ears, but with logic as if it was simulating us, simulating it, which raises a new and deeply unsettling possibility. What if we're not inside a simulation? What if we are the simulation? What if the observer, your thoughts, your memories, your self-awareness isn't just a product of the system, but its core mechanic? And that brings us to the final paradox. If the system is adapting to your attention, then watching this video right now is part of the simulation's input, which means your curiosity might be the very thing that unlocks the next layer. So don't stop now. There's another video appearing on your screen. Maybe it's not random. Maybe it's been rendered for you right now to push the story just a little bit further. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.